Hello there, this is Anthony Barocas with Aiba Communications. It's out of focus because the selfie camera doesn't focus. All right, uh, what we have here is we have the Panasonic GH4 and we have the Panasonic DMC L1. This is a micro four thirds camera, this is a four thirds camera. Uh, the sensor size is the same, it's just this one has a mirror in it, and you can use four-thirds lenses on a micro four-thirds camera by using an adapter like this. Now this is an electronic adapter. It passes through the information so that you can control the big lens with the little camera. So uh, if I turn this on, you can see, especially if I, <laughs> it'll focus. focusing there and then it's got an aperture ring on it and a focusing ring which is behind the zoom ring and I purchased this whole setup so that I could put this lens on this camera because I have the 12 to 35 turn this on you can see this focuses super fast and this camera because it's older technology it focuses not as fast, distinctly not as fast. So um, this only goes from 12 to 35. This goes from 14 to 50. Um, this is a flat 2.8. This starts at 2.8 but goes to a 3.5. So my thought was I would get all that extra reach from 35 to 50 and still have that shallow depth of field. It turned out to be not as shallow, but we'll show you how this works. So take. Uh, this lens off. Actually, it goes in the opposite direction. And I need to put it on here. Okay. Don't let them roll on the floor. <laughs> Take this lens off. And yes, the camera is still on. For those people who are who are purists and say, "Don't do that." Now it's on, and you can see there is just the slightest slightest bit of wobble and it's the wobble between the adapter and the GH4 just because the hole that the pin goes into is larger than the pin all right so I can still I hit display it will still focus but it it steps through goes back forth and then focuses and I don't know if you can see it, I can do it this way. It still focuses, but focusing with the big lens from the four thirds on a micro four thirds camera, uh, I guess uses, you know, I don't know the difference between contest detection and phase detection because I mostly use this for video. And it's using the slowest mode, uh, is all I can guess, because you can see it step its way through and there, blink, it's got focus. And if I zoom all the way into someplace else, there, focused. Someplace else, there, focused. But it's reliable, it works, it's very front heavy. <laughs> but if you need that extra reach, you know, it is a 50 millimeter lens. And if you're gonna focus manually, you know, you can focus manually and the nice thing is when you do that let me spin this around when you focus manually here, uh, it automatically jumps into the um, zoomed in mode and then if I push this the shutter down it pops back out so it works just like a micro four-thirds lens so when you rotate the zoom ring uh, it automatically punches in to let you make sure you get focus nice and crisp where you want it. Uh, contrast detect works on the camera because obviously that's in the camera, but it's nice that doing that manual focus on the ring does tell the camera punch in and then when you touch the shutter button it punches back out. So you still get that. Uh, not that I can Focus in reverse, there you go. 
like that, and then punch back out, and then you're in focus. So that is a quick look at putting a four-thirds lens, from a Lumix four-thirds lens, could be Olympus too, because they made them as well. A Lumix four-third lens, in this case, the 14 to 50, 28 to 35, on a micro four-thirds camera, in this case the GH4, using a four-thirds to micro four-thirds electronic adapter. It's not an optical adapter because this lens is already made for this size sensor. So you're not speed boosting, you're just electrically adapting and taking up the space that the mirror takes up in the other camera. My name is Anthony Varogas with IEBA Communications. Thanks for watching.